All right, folks, the real estate reset continues. And all we want to do is make sure that you guys get on the right side of the greatest transfer of wealth in world history, the real estate asset class definitely included in that. So we do have to talk about something else besides crypto. We bring it in with the current events, what's happening on the world stage, tie it back into the financial markets, and most definitely the real estate asset class. Absolutely critical. We all need a roof over our head, right? So let's get right on into it. I got a few data points to confirm it. And then at the end, I'm going to share the opportunities that I see for our audience. Let's get right on into it. Now, listen in on this one, folks. 49% of real estate agents sold one house or none in 2023. I don't really know how somebody could possibly make a living like this. It is absolutely insane. Over 49% of all real estate agents in 2023 sold one house or none. 49%. That's staggering. And when you really take a close look at the data, it is staggering. It is shocking. And especially if you were listening to the mainstream talking head pundits, the, you know, perma, uh, perma bulls, right? That just were trying to egg you in. And I warned you guys about how the selling point for the agents now was going to be, we had about a month and a half of mortgage rates, right? That were below 7%. Now the average mortgage rate is ticking up back above 7% once again, because what happened? The Fed paused and the 10-year and the two-year yields both spiked up, right? Bonds sold off, yield goes up. And where do we base the 30-year mortgage payment off of? That 10-year bond. And that 10-year bond went back up. And so the mortgage rates went back up. And so, you know, the the real estate agents and the mortgage brokers were, were telling you, you know, oh, you know, rates went to 8%. Now they're back down. Take advantage of it now. Now they're going to be hitting you up and saying, say, I told you so. You should have moved into the house. Well, we could have got you in it. Six, seven, five at six and a half percent. And a lot of them, too, were trying to sell you, and especially the builders, trying to sell you on these teaser rates, right? Marry the, marry the home, date the rate is the saying that they're now throwing around, right? Basically, just buy, sign on the dotted line now, and you'll be able to refinance later at a much lower rate. Well, what happens if the Fed actually raises rates once again? What happens if they just keep them higher for longer, as we've been warning, right? These are all the same folks that were trying to say that the Fed was going to cut rates six times last year. That it? That didn't happen at all. We didn't get one rate cut, right? Now these same folks were saying that we were going to get six rate cuts this year. Now they're realizing, wait, that's not happening. After Jerome Powell came in, the Powell parade on 60 Minutes, and he said, it ain't happening. You're most likely looking at more, more like three rate cuts, and it ain't happening in March either. You know, so now we're waiting all the way till May as probably the earliest that we might get any sort of rate cut. Now, speaking of fake data in a fake economy, we see this one right here. 87% of the jobs created last month in Canada were government jobs. So for those real estate agents that are only selling one house or none, 49% of them, well, if they're looking for a job, they might be able to go get a public sector one up there in Canada because nearly all of the jobs created last month were literally government jobs. Once again, when you take a good hard look at this data, the devil is in the details. And that happens to be the case as well. As we break down the fake Chinese income mortgage story with Steel and Vance in Vancouver, there is no question for me, foreign underground banking made this market absurdly unaffordable and evidence is Canadian banks support that illicit model. This is from Sam Cooper. Now, this is starting to unravel up in Canada and it is going to impact us back here in the United States. And this is really starting over in China with Evergrande and Country Mortgage, right? Um, or, or what is it? Um, I forget one of their other big development companies over there, Country Garden, I believe is what it is. Uh, the, the Ponzi scheme over there is starting to unravel and the ripple effect spreading over here into Canada, over into the United States. Remember, plenty of Wall Street firms back here in the U.S., had exposure to Evergrande. And now that's $300 billion that has to be liquidated. $300 billion of assets that are going to be fire, sailed, uh, so, so fire sold at uh, liquidation prices. And now we have this story right here from Sam Cooper out of Canada, where they're highlighting about all of the fake mortgage scams that were going on. Basically how they were um, over-reporting how much money they actually were making. They were over-reporting how much money they actually had. And we talked about this. I've talked about this in the past, how you saw they were getting cash as fast as they could out of these countries because it's all from communist corruption. 
So they were getting the cash as fast as possible, and they were buying up you know, millions of dollars worth of property up in Vancouver, down in Seattle, down in San Francisco, over on the East Coast of the United States, worldwide in markets like Sydney, Australia as well, right? They were anywhere that they could get their, you know, uh, corrupt cash out of, and, and obviously not all of it was corrupt, right? But this is why you saw so many people getting it out of there, flowing into real estate in countries like this. But we also want to take a look at this as well. Where else are they putting this cash? Gold and silver. The People's Bank of China, it's the central bankers and it's the people of China as well. But the People's Bank of China has bought 10 tons of gold in January, 15 straight months of buying. Now, we just reported how the highest level of buying by the Chinese, this is the Chinese citizens, they haven't bought this much gold and silver in six plus years. Now, when we look at the central banks across the world, they're buying gold at a pace that they haven't done in 50 plus years. So it's very clear what's been taking place, right? They got it out of China. They went, they bought as much real estate as they could, and they're buying as much gold and silver as they can. Now, if you guys are looking to pick up some gold and silver as well, you guys already know the deal. We have our affiliates listed at my websites and get in touch with them because right now we have a dip on price. I don't think that this is going to last much longer. Silver all the way back down into the $22 range. Let me pull it up right now so we can take a look. Gold and silver, yeah. Silver back down to... 22 and a half and then we see gold still holding the two thousand dollar level okay but right now we're seeing that the premiums have come down recently which is an opportunity if you're looking to pick up and we got some of the best prices with our affiliates that's all at my website zachrector.com now continuing on with this real estate reset folks this is the data that is really alarming a new paper from the National Bureau of Economic Research argues that 14% of the 2.7 trillion commercial real estate loan market and 44% of office loans currently carry outstanding loan balances that are higher than property values and are at risk of immediate default. So that's nearly half of the office loans in America are carrying outstanding loan balances that are higher than property values and are at risk of immediate default. That's how bad the situation is in the commercial real estate sector. It's an absolute sacrifice in office space, and it is a major, major correction underway in the commercial, the broader commercial sector as well. When you hone in on residential real estate, you can cherry pick markets across this country where prices are still going up. Absolutely. This is why you need to understand your market and you need to understand what sector you are going to be investing in. So you need to understand your market when you're going to just buy a home or you're just looking to rent, right? You need to understand your rental market. You need to understand your residential market for buying. Or if you're looking to be an investor, you need to understand the market and you need to understand the segment or sector of real estate that we're talking about as well. If you're moving into office space right now, you need to understand that about half the office properties in this uh, country are literally in default territory. Now, that's the opportunity right? There's only about uh, less than 10% of the office buildings that stand right now in America are actually viable for converting to multifamily or apartments. But that doesn't mean that you can't get creative and convert them to something else, right? From office space to retail, from office space to something else might still be there. But only less than about 10% is viable for moving into residential or, or multifamily living, right? Um, but nonetheless, the opportunity is there. Over you know, 44% of commercial property here, office space in the United States in default territory, and over 14% of the commercial properties uh, in default territory here in the United States. Tremendous opportunity for those of you guys that are looking to become real estate investors, or if you already are, you need to understand this data, you need to understand your market and the segment sector of real estate you're investing in so that you don't get caught up in this deal right here. What we see on the back of that is office vacancies hit a new record high in the United States per Axios up to 19.6%, right? So tremendous disruption taking place in the real estate asset class. And this is why we continue to talk about making sure that we're up to date, that we're tapped in, whether you're looking to rent, whether you're looking to buy, or you want to invest, understanding your market, understanding your segment is absolutely critical because the reset is underway. That is undeniable. And so I'm not here to be a real estate bear. I'm not a real estate bear. I just, you, you need to know what you're investing in. 
You need to invest in yourself, your education before that we read a, you know, Airbnb for dummies. And then we think we're going to be a real estate investor. We, we read, a, you know, become a flipper for dummies. And we think we're going to be a real estate investor. We want to partner up with somebody who has experience or be willing to learn, be willing to put some skin in the game and understand that you might take some hits along the way, but that's how we learn and become, you know, proper real estate investors who can take advantage of this opportunity that is before us. I myself am young, inexperienced. So what am I doing? I've been building my relationships. I've been surrounding myself with those that are experienced in this asset class who have been investing during downturns, during the great financial crisis, so they can help hold my hand as, and, and guide me through this moment in time. With that being said, if you guys are looking to get tapped in with our private investment community, you can do so by getting in touch with us at my website, zachvector.com. You sign up through Patreon to get access to Discord. We just had another fantastic Discord weekly call here this last Saturday, and we do this every single week. If you wanna get in touch with me, it is an opportunity for you to talk about your investments, talk about your businesses, Whatever you want to get in touch with me about, we are available. Nearly 24-7, we have members in the community that are available to help you, whether that's moving crypto, whether it's talking about deals, investments. A big focus for us going forward here is going to be utilizing the XRP Ledger DEX. I got more content coming on that, and we, we are going to keep everyone up to date with the AMMs coming to the XRP Ledger. Other things that we talk about is you know investing in real estate, how to properly move through this real estate reset that's underway, we wanna make sure that our community gets on the right side of the transfer of wealth. With that being said, I appreciate everyone for stopping me by. Uh, make sure you guys drop a comment down below and let me know how you guys are preparing for this real estate reset. I'll see you guys in the next one, God bless. I am your host, Zach Rector. I really appreciate all of the love and support. If you wanna support the channel, just remember that you can start by smashing that thumbs up for me, sharing this content far and wide, and everything else is at my website.